Hey guys, this is Jordan with Elite Jumps and congratulations on your new Surge 3.0 jump rope. Came something like this. Today, I'm gonna show you how to set this up. Here we go. This is what it looks like when it comes. A little package like this. This is called our Joey bag. The first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna pop this cable out of the Velcro on the back. We're gonna pull out these handles. This cable is a, what we call our standard length, 332nd nylon coated cable. It'll have a little bit of a coil when you first uh, pull it out. Don't worry about that. That will come out. You can see it's already coming out. There's a little screw on the inside. Now there's a handy tool in the bottom of these handles. And this is how the pros do it. Ooh. Unscrew that guy. We'll do that with both handles. Hey, well, you just pull up the, the handles facing the same direction. So instead of having the offset eye different on each side, you want the offset eye the same on each side. So we'll pull one all the way through. This screw on this end with the cable stop, you do not want to tighten this down. The reason you don't want to tighten this down is because when you jump with this, if it's tight on the cable, it will put memory, it'll put coils into the cord. So we just want to tighten it down enough but the disc is still free spin. Okay, so that's still free spinning. Now with the other end, we are actually going to tighten this side down and this is just for the purpose of sizing. So we'll tighten it down on the end and now we can size our jump rope. The purpose of these little grub screws is, is for you to be able to play with the size and the leg to get your optimal size. So you can just loosen that up, move it a couple inches these little screws are not your finished product because again, what that means is one side of this table is not free spinning, which is not ideal. We want both sides free spinning. So what we're gonna do is once you find your optimal size or you feel like after a couple workouts that you have it right where you want it, that's when we loosen this cable up and then you'll notice in your bag, you have two pieces. There's an extra grub screw in case you lose one of these grub screws, which does happen. If you have a nice pair of cable cutters, these are our cable cutters. Um, we love these because they're small yet mighty. So usually small cable cutters aren't gonna be able to cut this. So you you probably would have a bigger pair around your house that you'll need to cut this cable or you can order these off our website. But you'll cut the excess. Let's just say that that's the excess you want to cut off. So you cut off the excess cable so you don't have some free spinning. And you'll put the cable stop on the end like so. And then these are handy to just whack on. So I have a hammer and a little anvil here. Well, let's just see if I can do all of this together. Place that on there. So that's on there real tight now. And now you'll see that both ends are free spinning, which is what you want. When you're actually doing, when you've actually settled on your size, you don't want this height on the cable. You want it free spinning. This is again, these, this little screwdriver and grub screw setup is just for making size adjustments on the fly. So when you're ready to put this away, we're gonna take the Joey bag out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide one end of, or one of your handles down to the other one. So they're together. Okay, now they're together. Now we're gonna take this cable and hopefully you can catch this, but you just put a little twist in it each time. You want it about that, that big and you just put a little twist with your finger. It'll rinse out. I like to wrap this through a couple of times so it doesn't go anywhere. And so now we have kind of a circle with the two handles and we'll try to slide those in to the Joey bag. And we'll put the Velcro over the top and then we'll do the same on the bottom and now it's tightly stored for the next time you want to jump okay so that's how you set up your jump rope 
If you have any troubles with it, or if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call, send us an email. Our USA customer service team would love to help you. It's important to us that you're able to set this up correctly so that it works well for you and that you enjoy using it.